Hello, my name is Ryan Kerr, and I'm here with Connor Doyle, local aspiring filmmaker. How you doing, Connor? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Connor is making a short film this summer, and he needs your help. What's the movie called? Uh, it's called Scenes from a Park Bench. Uh, it is five shorts that um, all take place on this park bench. Um, they You're vary. At the setting. <laughs> um, they vary in their content. Um, some are very light and fluffy and fun. Um, others are very serious. Um, one's just kind of meant to be very funny in a really dumb kind of way, but I really enjoy it. Um, cool, yeah. You, you've read the script. I you have know, read the script. Um, it is very good, I must say. I, I'm trying to avoid going into too much detail because I don't want to spoil anything because, like, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the surprise because there's some really fun bits that I'm afraid that if I get talking, I'll just kind of like yeah. no, go right fine. through all the good plot. Um, I totally understand. So, um, so you're going to be funding this through Indiegogo. Yes. And um, first of all, how much money are you kind of aiming for? Our and goal. What's that money going to? Our goal currently is three thousand um, dollars. Sixteen hundred will cover all the equipment costs that we have. Um, and then the remainder will go, uh, there's, we're uh, estimating about 1000 for cast and crew costs, um, 200 for miscellaneous fee, 200 for props, I believe, and what's that put me at? Does that put me at 3000 I don't know, I think I can't it puts do me at 3000 um, We're not, neither of us are mathematicians. I'm the interviewer. So. I'm, not the, <laughs> I'm not the resident mathematician. I'm assuming you'll have a, stand, a guy on set who's yeah, like just doing, doing math. the numbers as we're yeah, going. He's got an abacus. We, uh, so, Connor, um, what kind of perks can people expect if they donate certain amounts of money to um, your Indiegogo project? So one of the perks that I feel like people will be most excited about is we haven't decided on the price point just yet. It's either going to be 5 or $10. Um, if you're watching this at this point, just look to your, the side and you'll know how much it is. Um, but we, uh, in the movie, we have a scene with a dog. And so what we're going to do is kind of set up a little, not quite lottery, but like a drawing. And so if you put money in, we're gonna go ahead and put your name down into this drawing, and your dog will be the lead of the lead dog in the movie if we pull your name out. Okay. Um, we would like it to be a well-behaved dog, so if it's not, please don't put the, your name in for this. <laughs> we have other perks that we can do. Um, we have for five dollars, we're gonna have some stickers made. Um, we're working on the design currently. Um, we will have. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Fifteen dollars, I believe, will be an actual copy of the movie that we'll send out to you whenever it's uh, done and ready to go. Um, $25, um, we'll have, I have a rather large collection of books, and so we're only offering 10 of these because I don't feel like getting rid of that many books, but um, if you, $25, pick this perk, you'll get a random book off of my bookshelf. Um, that is a sweet deal right there. Uh, I'll probably, depending, I'm not totally familiar with Indiegogo, but I'll probably email whoever picks this perk and like ask for a genre so they're not getting okay. something they hate but um, yeah that's one of the perks I think is kind of interesting um, it's like kind of a blow to me because I'm gonna lose a book but yeah. I think you're, it's a unique you're part. suffering for your art Connor I think that's a big part of it and I can I can vouch for Connor and say that he has good taste in literature so I, 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 I do <laughs> I think it's would, like the only thing I've got good taste in you heard it here you heard it here um, so your short film I read the screen read kind of what it's about. It's very much a dialogue driven kind of short film. Is that hard for you, writing dialogue? What's um, that like for you? You know, when I've tried to write scripts in the past, it absolutely has been, but for some reason this one was a little easier. Um, I don't know if it was because it was much more simplified in my approach. Like, I wasn't worrying about all these locations going on and having to drive the plot forward in some meaningful way. It was just like, I just want five conversations. They're all set on the same location. I didn't have to think about any of that other stuff. So this was surprisingly simple for me to write. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know, man. It was just really strange writing in this manner. Yeah. Do you take a lot of influence from your own life or from the lives of people around you? Or is it like uh, you're just creating totally different new people to work with? I feel like there's at least an element of me in it. Um, but for the most part, I was just trying to like pick stories that like I at least I know that I like watching yeah. and try and just write them in a somewhat different way, maybe in a less oh I don't know the right word for it, just a less crazy way. Like cause it, it's smaller. That's the yeah. goal. It's just to make these a lot smaller. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, like I don't want anything huge. That's not my goal. Right. right. That'll probably be like way down the line when you're making your like ten hour documentaries and that yeah. kind of thing. Sure, well, totally. What's that seven-hour film with oh, no scripts? Yeah, <laughs> that's really the, the goal. The film. Yeah, sure, yeah. totally. Who are your Who are your 
influences uh, when um, it comes to writing and when it comes to filmmaking? So the Jim Jarmusch for sure, um, like a lot. His most, most recent movie, Patterson, was definitely a huge influence on this, and um, in that like that movie was just so radical and it was absolutely about nothing. There was no conflict at all. So it was a plotless film, which isn't which in itself isn't that unusual but like yeah. that there was no conflict at least for the main character was kind of radical to me to watch yeah and so i definitely kind of tried to imitate him in that manner um to where like there's it's just conversations it's just anything meaningful that happens doesn't happen because of some outside influence it's happening because of how the characters are interacting with each other right um that, that's definitely the biggest one. Uh, Richard Linklater, just because like he's very dialogue driven. Um, okay. I watched, I listened to a lot of his dialogue, watched a lot of that to try and get that kind of organic, naturalistic feel that I really, really liked, and that's kind of what I was striving for. I hopefully it doesn't come off across as being something that's written, but rather it's just something that people would say. That's the goal. Yeah. Um, whether I achieve that is up to the viewer. Yeah. Um, There's, it's definitely, it doesn't feel forced or artificial. It definitely feels like a very natural kind of flow between characters and that kind of thing. I, I, I have read the script beforehand, so I'm able to kind of like lend this outside perspective, I guess. But I think other people will like it as well. He, he's really good at promoting <laughs> me right now. Uh -huh. Connor is great. Oh yes, Connor is great. Connor, thank you for joining me on the park bench. Is there anything else that we need to cover, we need to talk about for your project? I, I Nothing comes to mind. Do you have um, a deadline or anything that so donors need to keep in mind? We are planning on going live at the end of the week, what is uh, the week of April 7th? That's, we're going to go live at the end of the week, that's our goal. Um, and so the campaign will run for about two months. Okay. And so by the end of two months, we are hoping to have our money and we're, the plan is to film right after the campaign ends. Okay. Like, like hit the ground running. Just totally yes, um, so we're shooting for filming the first week of June. Roughly, we'll see what happens. It really depends on weather um, and yeah. ske scheduling with the um, cast and whatnot. But that's currently the goal. But our goal is to have it done by the end of the summer and edited and out to, and all the parts given out to everyone by the end of December. That's what we're shooting for. Everything done by December. Totally. Awesome. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Are you excited? Are you I'm, pumped? I'm very excited. I'm nervous. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of a very scary thing. Yeah. Because um, there's always that fear, it's like, what if it's bad? <laughs> Did I waste their money? But, yeah. you know, our goal is to absolutely give you what, something that you'll enjoy, and we're really, really working hard to give yeah. something that's enjoyable. And so hopefully yeah. we achieve that goal. It would really, really be cool to see everything come together, and uh, we can only do that uh, with the support of the viewers watching this video and looking at this Indiegogo page. So. Connor, it was uh, cool talking to you, and yeah. I hope that your project goes well. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you so much for Absolutely. interviewing and whatnot.